Hey guys, it's Vexen. Today we're going to be doing Serpent Shrine Cavern, which I'm usually going to start inside the instance, but today we're going to start outside. So it is located in Outlands, in Zangamarsh, and it shows it's over here, but we do have to come in between these little items right here, fly down, just kind of tower things, fly down, try to get a good camera angle, and fly into the pipe. Or swim into the pipe. Um, before you come here, I would suggest you have fishing, mostly because there is a boss in here that has to be fished up, and I believe it's the lurker below. Um, to my knowledge, there isn't any other way to res or to summon that boss, uh, so you do miss out on one boss if you don't have fishing it does have some pretty awesome items especially for transmog some pretty cool boots and as soon as you come out of here go straight ahead and there it is Got to jump on this fishy little elevator right here with a creepy little fish head on it. <clears throat> and we're off to the races. This is definitely one of the more aesthetically pleasing raids that they made in Birth and Crusade, in my opinion. Oh, we missed the elevator. And let's see what we get down here. What does that look like? Pretty cool chest item, actually. It's, yeah, really solid. The boots we were just looking at, the gloves. We'll get our loot appraiser up just in case we get anything cool here for uh, the sell. Ooh, one gold dagger, guys. We're gonna buy the Brutosaur. And we have our first boss, Hydros the Unstable. Let's hope he drops my Ranger General's chest guard. Even if I never wear it, I think it's a cool name. Nothing. <laughs> it's crazy to think that on a 25-man raid, you're only getting three pieces of loot. I don't know if that's how it was back then. Um, I don't really remember, and I never did this raid. Oh, little trinket heals. I wonder if we have a spyglass like offhand if anybody they made that in the uh the mission tables or anything. We're gonna head right down here and we're going to do the lurker below. Now, I do believe in original Burning Crusade or Burning Crusade Classic, you had to have a certain level of fishing to do this boss, actually. Um, now, I believe level one is good enough. We're going to find out. I don't even have fishing on my bar, so we're in combat. Oh, what is that? Wow. 
I don't know how I have that. I don't know how I just got that. I've had fishing on this character for years. I believe after it, it takes three to four casts and then he arrives. <clears throat> And there he is. Yeah, I'd be I'd be pissed off if somebody woke me up and then just killed me. Mallet of Tides. And now back to our scheduled raid. That's a pretty cool two-hand mace. Fortunately, we can't use it. Hunters are not able to use maces. Which is okay, because it's the one item that we can't use. We can use daggers, fist weapons, daggers, fist weapons, staffs, pole arms, bows, guns, crossbows, swords, one-handed swords. I think we can use two-handed swords, can't we? Axes, fists, staffs, swords, yeah. We are able to, which is very, very interesting. Now, these coil fang armaments. Excuse me. The coil fang armaments, if I remember correctly, are a quest turn in. Um, so there is a quest here, or there is a. There we go, got some plans, not with any gold. Um, there is a rep here in this zone that you can actually get to Exalted just by turning in stuff. Um, it does help do some of the quests. It's, it was rather cheap. I did it during the last event um, back in November, I believe, and we had the rep bonuses. What's really great about it is that they do, you can get mounts from them. Um, so there's a couple places you can get the mounts. The Scenarian Expedition is one of them. The Sporagar is one. And a lot of them you're just turning in. You're just turning in stuff you can buy off the auction house for very, very cheap. Oh, we got some, uh, got some items here. Here we go. What are those hands? Hands, hands, hands. So this is the Rift Stalker armor. Which it looks like we only have three pieces of. Well, if we don't get it all here, it looks like we're going to be back in here next week trying to farm this up. All these little dudes over here are spawning. We're on our way to Morogrim Tidewalker. It's like if, if like a Najatar and like a what are they called? Dwarf had a baby. That's what they look like. Very, very pissed off Void. Who I think just farted. 
<laughs> it popped his. He just farted and popped a bubble. I've never seen that before. That's kind of cool. Well, now he's dead. Getting tons of patterns here. I wish I could send them to alts, but unfortunately I can't. Looks like they're all BOP. And we're back to the open again. Lots of gray items in here, too. Warlord's Iron Breastplate. Kind of like a, a slut mog for, um, for warriors or for paladins, maybe. Another Nether Vortex. For our monsoon belt and our belt of the Black Eagle. The skull caps always crack me up. They just look, they look so funny, like, they're like fez hats to me. All right, we've killed all the mobs. Now we come over to the console over here and we just press the button. Lady Vash, bridge console. So it's a pretty cool animation for 2007 right here, 2006. It's a pretty, pretty cool animation, I gotta say. I just couldn't imagine coming through here with a 25 man group, just stomping through and just macking everything. The worst part is if you had to hearth out, you'd always have to fly back and then swim down. So it always takes two, three minutes to get to the uh, to the boss there, to the first, the first instance. Water is a life. All right, we're hoping for the serpent spine uh, longbow here. We did not get it. Wah, wah, wah. Wow. Oh wait, what is this? Nope, that's not it either. Yeah, that's it, guys. We gotta take something out of our inventory here. Let's get one of these little gems. Oh, it was in there. Whoopsies. Well, guys, that is Serpent Shrine Caverns. Nothing crazy. We did not get a lot of uh, gold here outside of anything, but again, we're looking for transmog for our hunter right now. Just trying to get some cool items, maybe some bows. If you guys enjoyed the video, like, follow, subscribe, share it to your friends. And as always, if you guys run this place and you get something cool or you get a drop, go ahead and comment and let me know. And we'll see you guys in the next one.